This is designed to be a very quick tutorial on backing up your database and as well using the copy database wizard if you need to move from dev test to production or you just need to copy a database from one SQL server to another SQL server. Okay, so when we want to back up a database, all we have to do is go into SSMS, we're going to right click, we're going to go to tasks, we're going to go to backup. Once you bring up that, this instantiates right here in which case you can choose the backup type. A full backup is just as it states. It is a full representation of the database. The differentials are slices of the potential changes from your last full. The, there is guidance online as to what is the best mantra behind that. Brent Ozar has a great write-up on that as well online. If you want to go ahead and YouTube that as well, he does that a little bit more in depth. Right now we're just going to take a baseline look just go ahead and choose full okay you can change the backup set that to expire or you can choose a specific date if you have a different destination in mind just go ahead and click add then burst out the dot 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 and you're gonna be prompted to change it at will to wherever you want these backups end in dot bak they also can end in trn okay now going ahead and running that let's just say I run it and you want to refresh okay so we can go ahead here and we can go in and we're not going to choose backup in this time we're going to choose restore okay we're going to choose restore the database in which case you're going to be prompted to choose and you can go down but we don't actually have a backup written in this instance so let's go ahead and let's actually make a full backup of this we're going to go ahead and back it up right here. We're going to select OK. Backup is generating. It's at 100%. We have our full backup ready, just like that. I believe this was the one that we actually did. So we're going to go in here now, and we're going to restore the database. Now we actually have our database within its backup location. If not, you can choose within other ones. They will burst out additionals. Let's go ahead and restore this database. This is literally as easy as it gets. It's now executing. It's going to restore the entire database. Took it from a .bak file. We just got a full restore. That's done. Now you can also configure these restores more in a more robust fashion via maintenance plans. This is using the MSDB database as well as uh, SSIS. It also is leveraging the SQL Server agent. If you want to now, now jumping over to copying databases, if we want to copy the database from one server to another, all we're going to do in this instance is we're going to go to tasks and we're going to copy the database. This instantiates the copy database wizard. We choose the ser source server. We choose the destination server. We choose whether or not we want to detach or attach method. I like using this because it's slightly slower, but the, both the, data, the source database can remain online. I'm going to go ahead and choose copy. Now again, SQL Server Agent does have to be instantiated when you ex execute this because it is using the SQL Server Agent and this is an SSIS package. We can see here it's executing. It's almost done. We can see that this is very lightweight, it's very easy to use, and very, very fast. So this is going to be finishing, but um, if you have any questions on either of these methods, please uh, write me a message and I'll send you a response. Thanks.